I went down to south of France when I was about 17 and a half. Jacked in my job, I was on a two day a week anyway. And uh, went down to France, and hitchhiked down, down the Auto Route de Soleil, ended up in Saint Tropez. Thought I'd be seeing Mick Jagger and Keith Richards hanging around. And we were selling ice creams on the beach, looking for work, doing whatever was going. And the grapes were due to start, but there was still a, another month to go. So I thought I'd go along the south coast of France and it was the first time I'd ever been abroad. So I went along the Corniche, hitchhiking along there. It's a real a millionaire's road. Even when you stop at the side of the road, there's a sign saying this is private property. Well, this was 30 years ago I'm talking about down there. And I thought, I seen a sign saying Italy, 200 kilometers. And I thought, oh yeah, Italy, that sounds really exotic. So I hitched along till I got to Ventimiglia, which is the crossing place near Mount Monton in France. And I was standing there with my thumb out and uh, this beautiful black 1969 Italian Citroen DS, you know the ones that go down at the back, the old classic DS has stopped and he said, uh, I didn't understand what he said, Milano, Milano, and I said Milano, and I thought, oh yeah, Milan, Milan, that sounds good, yeah, that sounds good, and I jumped into this DS with this guy. And it's a good fair ride from the border of France to to Milan. It's four or five hours, no, four hours fast drive. And uh, left the border about five in the evening. Eventually we arrived in Milan. And I was really excited to be in Italy. And uh, he's, with sign language, he said, where, where are you going, where are you going? And I said, I don't know where I'm going, Milan. And he says, where are you sleeping? All with little hand signals. And I said, I don't know. And he says, well, come to my house and meet my girlfriend. She speaks English. And so, um, so I did. And they were really, really nice people. And uh, they asked if I wanted to go and have a look at Milan. And they took me all around Milan and we went in the centre of Milan and we went into a, a big pizza place, a big trattoria. I had the best pizza I ever, in, ever had in my life. And then got quite smashed. And they all looked after me and brought me back to the flat and uh, went to sleep on the sofa. And the next morning they said, where do you want to go today? I looked at my map and I saw Switzerland was just up the road, 60, 70 kilometres. I said, Switzerland. And so he said, OK, and brought me to the motorway, the beginning of the autostrada going up to Como. And I made my way to Switzerland. But I didn't get all the way into Switzerland. I stopped just before Switzerland and decided to sleep in the woods there. I didn't have a tent or anything, but the weather was nice still. And in the middle of the woods, I was got my sleeping bag out and laid down. And about two, three o'clock in the morning, I heard so. <coughs> and there was wild boar all around me. That was really, really scary. So I put my head inside the sleeping bag and pulled it tight on top of my head. And just prayed for the morning. It was a long, scary night. The next day, got up, walked to the Swiss border, crossed over the Swiss border. I stayed about 10 minutes in Switzerland when I saw the price of everything and turned round and went back down to Milano and then back down to France, eventually making it back to start working on the grapes. Now, if you want any more stories, 
travelling stories from around Europe. I don't mind doing them, but I can't tell if they're just not totally, totally, totally boring. Buongiorno. Good night.